Hello! Welcome to another video by me, Shad Breezy Gaming. Um, yeah, so today we're gonna hang out with Ken again because he's just so, so fun. I can't talk. What else is new? Um, we're gonna check in and I really would like to have a wedding happen in this episode, episode two, because I would like to check off having a fairy wife off of Ken Clark's life list so far. He's gotten level five of the um, police career, which he's at currently. Actually, I'm sorry, he's at seven. Um, um, just to recap, we are going to have him do level five of four different careers. So far, he's has two careers with that uh, met already, which is pretty cool. Um, he has been in the investigator career, which is something he's done. So now he's in the police profession. I think it'd be pretty cool if he also was a firefighter and a ghost hunter, because those are two things I haven't ever really experimented with. So, um, and again, we have Wilborg, my homie, my robo brew. Um, he's awesome quality, obviously. Obvi, he's awesome. Um, yeah, Ken has to work on his, well, he doesn't really have to work on it, but that's just, you know, to take care, take care of our guy, get those cool, um, you know, quality characteristic traits. I don't really remember what they're called exactly. The functions, um, did, did, what are they called? Um, yeah. He can be, he's a chef, handy bot. He is a fisherman. He can fish for us. He cleans up the house. So he's super helpful as of right now. Um, we got our our sexy fairy fiance, uh, Trixie Jezebel, um, while playing with her recently, she's befriended, um, a girl who is, a uh, Bella Stone. If you've seen another one of my videos, she's, um, in the fashion career. So they're now besties because she used a friendship potion. So it's kind of cool. She has like a best friend now. So, so I like that. Um, I need her to get, I want her to have more friends too. I'd like to have her to have like a fairy friend. I think maybe bring invite over Tori Kimura because they would be that'd be cool to have like a fairy friend because she's a fairy and this <laughs> uh freaking little gnome is just creeping on her. I love it. Love to see it. Um yeah so right now um I'm gonna just just hang out. We're just gonna like do some stuff. Um I'm gonna feed Willie because that's what we do. I think in the meantime she can tend her garden. Um, I wonder if we have any like friendship spells that we can just use on potent bliss. All right, there we go. <laughs> when Tori comes over, we're just gonna use one of these guys because we would like to have another another friend because the thought process is. Um, when they get married, I want to have, like, I want to have her have some friends, and I want Ken to have some friends. She's like, yes, that's her, I'm a sexy fairy. She's like, yes, welcome to my garden. Turn that off while we're, we're chit-chatting. Oh, I forgot. So something else. Oh, in a second, I'm going to just discuss something. Um, we're gonna go ahead and use a jar of potent friendship. We're gonna use it on Tori, because we would like to be friends. Oh, she's a little, <laughs> that means she's a little, a little drunk. Uh-oh. Yay! Cool. Yay! But let's, I'd like to learn about her, so yeah, let's learn about her. Because we don't know anything about her, and she's Trixie's observant, so she can discover the traits of others twice as quickly. <gasps> oh my god! The work! Wait, Victoria? Yo, Wilbur is a f***ing player, dog! Who's Victoria? Oh my god. <laughs> He's just gonna be like, okay. Alright, I don't know who Victoria is, but go off. Go off. <laughs> Got some honeys. Um, okay. 
Go back to this for a little bit. Oh, we're best friends. Let's learn about each other. <laughs> okay. So she's charismatic, natural cook. She's a snob. That's cool. We like it. We can have a snobby best friend. Let's let's put our clothes on also because we're like a little bit too like zhuzh Um. Let's just. That's nice. Okay, so that, 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 that's cool. So we got some friends. Oh, I want to see something else. Okay. Um. That's cool. Okay. <laughs> Like my life is great. Scan target. All right, that's fine. Um, all right. So, I think it'd be cool if we. Okay, so today's Saturday. Maybe should they get? It's 3 p.m. So maybe tomorrow they'll get married tomorrow oh that's exciting okay cool um okay cool so i would love to listen to discussion okay so what i would also like to mention is uh with your lifetime rewards there's a bunch of stuff you can get i've touched on this before you know um one of the things that i decided to purchase was some ba, 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 ba. I don't know what they're called I keep forgetting what they're called sorry um these things like trait trait chips I think that's what they're called trait chips so with that um Ken has several trait chips that we can use in the future um and that, that means we don't even have he doesn't even have to like create them so um basically let's have him come over here and we'll explain um, yeah, so whatever. Why don't you, like, tend your garden? Oh. And then... Tennis. It's kind of cool that everyone's got, like, fairy wings. Or wings. <laughs> I'm silly. Um, blah, 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 blah. Addressed trait chips. So far right now. Come <laughs> on. So we've got the cleaner, the handy, the fisher, the cooker. We don't. We have these are locked. So oh, I can if I get seven, we can put another one. So will we have also algorithmic artist? Ooh, okay, so we can be he can be a good painter. Oh, that's cute. Like that's they can have an interest with uh with Trixie. Excuse me, I just burped. <laughs> uh, capacity to love. Oh. So he can be like romantic with, I guess, a sim. Is that? It's a social motive, and it gives your plum bomb romantic urges, and gives a full suite of interactions to express. Oh, okay, Robo Nanny, which is going to be kind of helpful because I think that'd be cool to have, you know, um, will work just kind of helping out our new future children, need little children, um, in the house. So that's pretty cool. Sentience. Oh, this is a big one. The fun social and mood motives. This would be kind of cool. Give him, like, I mean, not saying that Wilbur's boring, but, like, he really just needs to sleep. So, you know, aside from, like, sending him off to fish, I don't, I kind of, you know, the house is clean most of the time because it's just these two, these two goofballs. <laughs> um, we can really, like, you know, we can use that. That, you know, maybe something Plumbot becomes a true individual, even deciding its own name. What? Okay. Whew. Maybe it, in time, we'll try that one. And then Sinister Circuits, what do we got here? Hmm. Social motive, it can be social, encourages the spot to rebel against decent sins. Oh, crazy. Maybe we'll sell that one. We don't want Wilbur to be evil. I'm sorry, I just, I want everybody to get along in this household to some extent. Oh, wait a second, did he just get another? Yes! Oh my god, okay. I just got a little bit too excited about that. You know what? Might as well. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, he wants to be friends. Alright. Alright, what are we gonna put in here? Oh, man. Um. 
We don't have any kids yet, but they're gonna have kids. I don't know. We can switch these out also. I mean... Fun, social, and mood... mood motives. I don't know if I wanted him to have his own name, though. No. <laughs> Is that silly? Um, no, no, no. Not yet. We're gonna do... Maybe we'll just do ro Robo Nanny. Can we like, wait? Can we just have a bot buildings? Go instead of something like this one. Yeah, I have that. I don't understand. I don't understand. Anyway, I don't understand. We'll figure it out. Oh, we have to tune them up first. Let's try tuning them up first. Silly me. My sweet little little boy. Mm. Uh, la 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 Da -da 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 -da. There we go for the children's that we don't have yet. <laughs> Yay! All right, how lovely. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is going to create a little backyard um, wedding area because they're going to get married. And that's gonna be great. So we will take a little little break and I'll be back. What? Hello, it's me. Um yeah, so I figured I would attend the wedding. You know, it only makes sense that, you know, I introduce these crazy kids. I should be there for that moment. When to become one. I th you know, that song always made me think it might have been about X as well, but you know. It's not for me to decide. I am not a Spice Girl, you know? Alright, so I thought it'd be kind of funny if I... Well, not funny, but, you know, cute. If I had, you know, Trixie and Ken sleep in, you know, different rooms. So so Trixie slept in her fairy castle last night, obviously. That's what every girl would want to do before they get married. Sleep in their fairy castle. Um, yeah, so I did... Um, I up... I decorated the house. I can't wait to show you guys the house. And... Um, I can't wait for these crazy kids to get hitched, so let's, let's get it started. Moved Willie upstairs, just cause, you know, you never know, people could be fucking with the people that we love. <laughs> and, <laughs> you know. Alright, so we're gonna have a wedding party! Oh, oh. Wedding party, let's make it at like 2pm. 2pm, formal, everyone dress up. Now I better have my, be able to... Okay, cool. All right, now what's cool is I have that Ken can invite anybody to any party, and they will show up, and they will have a good time. So I'm gonna um, invite over. This is Wilborg's soon-to-be girlfriend because I think they get along really cute, really well. Um, uh, Trixie's friends with these two girls. <laughs> we have met an alien, which I will explain some details in a little bit. Um, um, who else? Ken has a coworker. We'll invite. Um, Ken can have some friends over too. Um, let's see, let's see. Ken gets along with him. <laughs> okay, I guess we're kind of Let's see. Um, that's cool. All right, cool. So 2 p.m. formal. These people, people that we care about, are coming. 2 p.m. Sunday. Let's rock. The wedding should. The will start at 2 p.m. You should do some early preparation for the wedding, such as purchasing and placing a wedding arch, which we have done, and appropriately arranged seating, which we have done, 
buffet table. We have done that. We also have a bar. We're going to get a wedding cake. It's going to be so exciting. A sheepsy? Okay. okay. Uh-huh. All right. Now, what's, what's super cute is... <laughs> I love this game so much. Um, anytime you plan a wedding party, um, and the bride and the groom, they get a little, like, mood buff that says it's their wedding day, and it's, it's just adorable. It makes me happy, you know? <sighs> um, Let's yeah, so they're both... Norca. Buy a wedding cake. Oh, okay, great. So basically, what they have to do now is just make sure that the house is in tip top shape. So I'll show you guys what I've done. Da 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 da. Just sleep, let her sleep. Okay. So I put down some pretty balloons, balloons all around the like walkways. Um, Wilborg is on like yard duty so anytime <laughs> critters pop up I'm having him catch the critters and sell them just because I don't want I don't I don't want there to be any distractions on this special day you know um, the backyard lovely I freaking love what I have done I'm just so freaking creative I moved some the indoors it's like a roomy you know people want to chill inside sometimes people are indoor people you know there's like spacious room to walk around you know um we've got a little buffet table i've got some outdoor seating got the little garden over there but that's not really part of it um little got a buffet table we have a bar which we're going to hire somebody to work the bar at some point and the coolest part is i have this little archway over here these little chairs um way way too many chairs but you never know um, hopefully people will sit in the chairs. Um, there's a little archway, I think that's super cute. So, um, yeah, so basically what I'm going to do is wait until probably like noon. We'll buy the cake around noon. Um, let's see. Where are you going? If he's going to feed Willie, he's going outside. You're so silly. Um, okay, so let's see. Oh, you should chat with... Okay, we're gonna make the bed. Mm. Okay. Um. So what I'm just gonna do? Chat, I'm chat. Um. Yeah, I think for now, we can probably wait until the festivities start. I might check everybody's outfit. I guess I should say. And, uh, you know what? He looks fine. I saw his formal outfit recently. He looks alright. Um, alright, cool. So we will be probably back around like in a little bit. Get some, get this party started. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, the guests are arriving. It is now time to get this party started. <laughs> it is... No, no. Sorry. But I would like to introduce somebody. Okay, well, first, Gorge. She's gorgeous. Gorge Bush. Our 59th president of the United States. Just kidding. Do you guys like my jokes? Not really. It's okay if you don't. Alright, guests are arriving! Our alien friend showed up with this little... Um... What was that our... He showed up in a... Friggin... I can't talk! <laughs> He showed up in a spaceship. It was pretty cool. Alright, I'm gonna leave, leave Trixie in here to do like the big reveal. So she can just just chill in there for a little bit. And then I think it'd be really nice if he went and greeted the people. Okay, so we've got some food ready. Our mixologist is coming. To stand by the burr. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Hello, sir. Welcome. Okay, now everyone's gonna hit on the spouses. That's what happens <laughs> when people meet each other. That's da da da. Okay. Alrighty. Oh. 
And then he's gonna go invite everyone in, so hopefully nobody leaves before. Everybody welcome to the wedding. Oh. Probably get the ceremony started. Um all right, let's get this party started. Seems like everybody's here. Oh god, are these chairs too close together? Oh god. Uh oh. Wolper, you're so far away! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, this is actually a little sad that Wilburg is this far away from... Okay, first of all, I don't like whoever keeps putting the music on to, like, hip-hop or techno. Classical. We are at the wedding, people. Hug our um <laughs> I just wanted to hug our alien friend. <laughs> Let's pretend that he just said Congratulations, Trip. She said, Oh thank you. <laughs> <laughs> And then Will Bork says, May I have that dad? And she says, Will Bork? Yes, you may. Meanwhile, yeah. well, he's eating cake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
You know, let's change up because we're partying now. Change to. Okay, people need to stop picking up the guitar. I guess we're all. Everyone's leaving? Six year, large number. Okay, so Buster left. Oh man. I guess the, the bar is not really a hit. <laughs> people leaving, people leaving, people leaving, people leaving, 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 leaving. What a nice party that was. Great party, I thought. Be wooed. That's cool. You can like be her friend, she's nice. Friendly. Well, actually, well, that's not really. Um, yeah. Alright, that was cute. Things are just winding down now. Oh, that's cute. We'll pretend that's like a wedding photographer, even though it's like paparazzi. They're famous now, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. What are you doing? Uh. Well, that was a lovely evening. Lovely party. <laughs> oh, is that a problem? Oh my god, you just <laughs> <laughs> What a lovely evening. I keep saying that. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, so we've got up off a couple days. I think in the meantime, Ken is going to pick up a new job. Maybe Trixie will have a... Mm. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe we'll have a child. Make a child. Who knows? Let's enjoy some wedding cake in the meantime, right? Um, Yeah, I think that'll be good for now. Let's uh, do a pause and I'll see you when I see you.